All right, we're back. Soul food or food for the soul. It is a staple throughout the United States, forest and African-American communities. Now, while soul food is loved by many, the restaurants that serve it have been in decline. That's right. And our Rosalind Freeman visited a local soul food restaurant to learn their secret recipe. Rosalind? Helen's Kitchen is one of the few soul food restaurants thriving in the Golden Triangle. And after 35 years in business, Ms. Helen said she's ready to share that secret. So what's the secret recipe, you may ask, for soul food and business? Well, the love of people. On 7th Avenue North in Columbus, there's still a place cooking up soul food favorites, including Friday's fried catfish. Miss Helen jones Kareem of Helen's Kitchen says there's a difference between homestyle cooking and soul food. I cook. I cook. I don't... Get in there and warm up stuff or order stuff on the truck. I cook. Do you know this morning that we got up and put all you see that have been cooked? Cook. We've been cooking. 86-year-old Helen Jones Kareem has been serving the community fine cuisines for over 35 years. There's not much she hasn't seen or cooked. The easiest pie that you can make. And I have to, you ask me the question, I have to tell you, I don't care about making lemon pies. I cook pecan pies, I cook sweet potato pies, and any kind of other pies you want to have. But for some reason, and that's one of my son's favorite pies, a lemon pie. <laughs> the oldest one. <laughs> Seems like that meringue just don't do right. It hasn't been sugar and, and sweet and like that, things like that, but it's been... God's been good to us. He just so people just blessing us. The tornado hit in 2019. Miss Helen said it seemed like a miracle when a food trailer was brought to her business. But due to power outage, she couldn't store the food, so she passed the blessing on to the community, which is another secret recipe of hers, giving. They show up and they went to Sunflower and got baskets and stuff and got the front. I mean, the whole porch was even some on the side. And I let them, let them have it because I couldn't use it. I didn't have nowhere to put it. I couldn't get it to in my house, all that food and stuff out there. So I've always tried to help. Helen's Kitchen and Catering is gearing up for their grand reopening this spring, but invites people to try their curbside.